You know, you guys built a good lead, gave, you know, let them back in, then we were able to hold out. I guess what do you kind of take away from the game like tonight? I take away a, a lot. It's a good character. Uh, make no mistake, that's a good team. You know, you look at their midfielders and, you know, they got, uh, you know, Austin back. Um, you know, he's a big, strong, physical athlete. Their kids at the midfield are very talented. Coleco is a good player. Um, Keen, we came in very concerned about Keen, and you could see at the end of the game, he's able to handle the ball in traffic. And I actually thought we did a pretty good job finding him. Um, you know, I, I was disappointed that we allowed them to get up and down at times, but and they threw the ball away a bunch. But that's them. That's what they do. They're going to take those risks, and some days they're going to hit them, and a lot of days they're not. And uh, today was like a lot of days, and. Um, you know, I, I, I've never been a guy that says, uh, you know, shooting, we need to work on the fundamentals of the game. We need to work on shooting the ball well. I thought our, our midfielders were uh, less, than, uh, less than adequate today. I thought we, uh, we did a, they did a good job of sliding really early. We moved the ball, and then our middies got the ball back with some, you know, some good looks. And we didn't make the most of those opportunities. So we've got to be more fundamentally sound. But, you know, you think about how you would have felt if you had lost this game. They're a team coming off a loss, needing a win. We're a team coming off a win, probably feeling maybe a little too comfortable. And uh, I'm glad to come out of it with a win. And we had to grind one out. The best part was uh, we cleared the ball very well. We rode a couple times again. And, uh, and Mike Poppleton was a nice lift uh, to have back and back at the face-off You talked about the middies. Do you get a sense that John, John, and Rob are sort of pressing to, to No, no. I, I, thought our, I, I thought our shot selection is usually pretty good. I think our shot placement. And give their goalie credit. I thought he played a, a heck of a game. I thought he made some really good saves. Um, you know, we took some shots that we would say, okay, let's take it again. But I don't think we put the ball... In, in, in good spots. So I don't think we shot the ball intelligently. And that's a fundamental of the game that we've got to improve upon. Uh, we didn't do it last week either. So we've got to be better there and we've got to do, put some extra time there. But, you know, uh, you know, we had 35 shots and you know, we've got to come away with a little more than a few more than eight. How would you assess the play of the offense in its first game without Chris Bay? Listen, you know, I thought they did a much better job in the second half of getting organized. I was really actually pleased with the way we executed the two-minute drill. Um, I thought they did a good job with that at the end of the game. Uh, we probably should have held the ball and not shot it, um, with being two men up and just not giving them an opportunity to win a face-off. Uh, but I thought that was good. And I thought in the second half, we grew. Um, had a lot of opportunities early um, in tight. And uh, I just thought... Our timing was off. Brandon caught a couple balls inside, but very little angle. Um, so the timing was off, and they, they just gotta, they gotta, gotta continue to grow and continue to develop. And you know, Chris doesn't play, and you know the rookie comes out of the game, and he's got uh, you know one goal and two assists. So and it's a pretty good team. So we'll uh, we'll take it. Can you elaborate on the play of Mike Poppleton and sort of what he provided for the face-off game? Yeah, well, Mike gives you a different guy. You know, and Mike gives you a veteran guy, a guy with some experience. So to, to have him, we, we just figured, figured we'd ease him into it, so we faced John off in the first one. Uh, we used Pellegrino a little bit more on the wings. He's pretty good off the ground. And uh, I thought Mike gave us a, a great lift. Uh, I thought he went in. When he didn't win, what I liked about it was he didn't, when he didn't let them win it cleanly. It became a scrum. It became a ground ball. And I thought we came up with a bunch of those. So I think we walked out. Uh, you know, 10 of 18, that's a much that's a much better step than we had last week. So, you know, we improved that. Uh, we continued to ride. We cleared well again. I think we cleared 18 of 19, so we cleared well again. So we just got to keep going and getting better. You alluded to the play of Wells Stanwyck. What are some of your takeaways from today for him? Um, it's a big day for a freshman in his first start at Johns Hopkins. Uh, he lives, you know, 50 yards up the uh, up the road, and uh, you know I'm sure he was nervous. I'm sure he was anxious, and I thought in the second half he settled down. Uh, I thought we did a better job uh, of you know getting guys organized. I thought Brandon Ben uh, got us in the offenses a little bit better. We're going to need one of the older guys to step to the forefront there, but uh, I thought well it was great. I thought he got his feet wet. We come away with a win. Uh, we come away not having played great against uh, what I think is a, a good good opponent. You know I thought they they came in here. You know, it's early in the season, but this I felt like it was a game that you, you needed to win. They needed to win, and we needed to win. And, and the good thing is we, we won.
Thank you. Thank you.